Welcome Sagittarius to your weekly love reading for April 9th to the 15th of 2018. So this will be your 10 card cup across spread about what you might be going through in your love life. These are general, so you can go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something that's going to be personally for your energy. Alright, so Sagittarius in love for April 9th to the 15th of 2018. Your energy, money. You're focused on money, new opportunities, goals. Um, there could be a new job coming through, new plans or ideas that you have been working on, and maybe you're focusing on you and you know putting in the effort. Um, some kind of reward or something could be coming through. With the Ace of Pentacles there now. The Ace of Cups is showing up. This tried to come out when I was first shuffling, and there are two new beginnings in love and in money career um, a lot of you may be ignited or happy about some kind of new creativity in your love life um, with the newer person it could be with the water sign pisces scorpio cancer it doesn't have to be you have earth sign there as well uh, virgo taurus capricorn um, but i feel like these are newer emotions a new opportunity to um, kind of dive into a newer romantic relationship and even maybe build up something with someone that you are getting to know. They could have been a friend for some time and you could be working around this particular person. But there is some kind of teamwork, some kind of growth that is there. Nice. And there are some worries, though, about this new beginning, about whether or not this is going to work. The Are you going to be able to keep up the energy and drive that you have to um, manif manifest the outcome that you want with this connection so you may be working towards that goal and trying to be emotionally available and not be disappointed maybe about the past um, this is kind of moving on letting something go and getting over your fears and worries so i feel like that's part of what you're working through the recent past the queen of cups is showing up there could have been some energy where a lot of you were having spiked dreams a lot of your dreams are heightened um you and intuitive senses when it comes to your heart is kind of opening up i feel like someone else may be opening up to you slowly but surely and you can either sense this you can feel it and this is something that is kind of uh, happening within you i feel for a lot of you out there so it could be that you have been dealing with another um water sign or you could have been around that particular person male or female but you sense something good all right now there could be issues with uh, drama conflict that's going on uh, with you and your romantic partner because of maybe money issues or the fact that there's a new beginning a new start in love a lot of you are trying to get over maybe the past and like a new beginning is here but there are obstacles still with you and that particular person being on the same page or the fact that there may be someone that's coming in between you two where you're trying to sift through um, all of the obstacles that might be there so this is either gossip or you coming through saying certain things um, aggressively and causing conflict um, something like that could be going on um, in the job workplace if you're working with this person or your new love interest I feel a lot of times anything new could not all the time could have some different things attached to it um, that needs to be cleared out first so this is why you need to take things slowly alright now the near future is you letting go of that energy I feel a lot of you where there could be conflict because you are moving on from a previous relationship so starting a new beginning I feel for a lot of you so this is still starting fresh and trying to clear out older baggage I feel um, you could be approached by another Aries or another person as well who's wanting to take a risk with you all right now your response is the three of Pentacles you're working together with this person you're trying to achieve a certain goal maybe different ideas plans and things like that are going through but there's some kind of chemistry with you and maybe um either two other people or you and someone else all right that looks nice to see now your how others are seeing you or your romantic partner they see that you are I, some of you could be getting over on um, the past romantic partner and it could be on um, the father of your child it could be an Aries for some but I also see that you are working on financial security um, trying to do things in the right way trying to learn from the past so that you're not constantly recreating issues that you've learned from before so I feel like this is a, a card of growth I feel like they're they see that you are growing maybe changing certain things I feel all right now your partner what they might be up to 
maybe they're waiting for you to see that change kind of manifest in their lives as well maybe they are waiting for the right time to open up to you maybe they're not completely done with their past but i feel like there are certain decisions that they need to make but they're not ready to make them just yet because you may be not um, wanting to approach them so if you are separated from someone or separating from someone i feel like they may be waiting for you right and waiting for them could be very frustrating because you may be kind of about to leave the situation yeah you feel like there's a new beginning there but you aren't willing to kind of wait any longer for that particular person because you could be stressed out that could, could be how it is all right and then we have the ten of swords at the outcome the nine and then we got the ten so this is facing an ending going through maybe an ending that you need to let go of and move on from for some but many of you are potentially just not communicating with this person you may feel like you're ignored that another person is not willing to make a move um, you may feel like you're being stabbed in the back by someone who's kind of stepping on your toes in a way if it does indicate another person it could be a Pisces for some if you're dealing with um, a romantic partner but I feel like there may be some conflict that you are facing that's not completely alleviated just yet but we'll see clarify the five of swords for Sagittarius, excuse me. <laughs> Five sword for Sagittarius. The past. Alright. Um, there are issues with someone in your past that you're trying to move on from. And until that actually happens, I feel, um, there are obstacles to that new beginning and a fresh start. That's what it seems like to me, as we were speaking about. Um, clarify the Ten of Swords for Sagittarius. we have the moon in reverse and a lot of times this is dealing with the reality that something is over that something is ending a lot of you may still be um you may receive a, re re a revelation about someone else's uh, marriage or something it's ending i feel especially if they have been trying to hide that or keep that away from you and that could be part of what your partner um or potential romantic partner or love interest may be dealing with clarify the moon in reverse or Sagittarius. Yeah, and you have the Ten of Cups. Now, for some of you, you are dealing with someone who is already in a relationship. They are already married, maybe spoken for for some. Others of you are revealing, well, something is being revealed to you that this relationship or connection can be something that is growing, I feel, that can grow, um, I feel. Um, but you still have to move on from past issues and clear it out. I feel that that's the, the story here. So let's see. Energies for Sagittarius for April 9th to the 15th, 2018. Sagittarius 9th to the 15th. Whoa. We have here unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's why I feel like the Ten of Swords is there. That's the person from your past. I feel that's what's going on with that particular person. And others of you are needing to disconnect from that particular energy and move into and nurture this new love opportunity. If there's not someone new there, you're still needing to let go of um, that particular person because they may be spoken for now. And if you are on your own, you're working on your own emotional growth, your career, and you are just trying to make sure that you are learning from that particular experience. That's what I get here. Messages for Sagittarius for April Length to be soulmate yes this is your soulmate for many of you out there that's what it looks like to me anytime i see these combinations here um and there is a new start but you have to let go of the past or be willing to put an end to that particular situation for many of you out there all right oh one more card i do want to clarify it is the hangman for capcom i said yeah the Capricorn, no, um, Sagittarius could be dealing with the Capricorn that was the center of your reading with the Ace of Pentacles there. Clarify the Hangman, Sagittarius. Hmm. Either I feel like that person that you might be dealing with, they've communicated some type of truth and it's kind of out in the open now, and they may be waiting for the right time to open up to you. Like for some in your situation, you could have been dealing with someone who was talking to someone else and they was in a marriage or a commitment 
but then they communicated that they found new love and it could be you and now that truth is out so they're having to allow that come that tension to alleviate if there was conflict with someone else all right and others of you they're on the receiving end that this relationship or connection did not work between you so they are working through um, the growing pains and moving away from the connection that's what it seems like to me for some all right so those are going to be your messages i do hope that they did help you out lots of love to you lots of light tons of healing vibes i wish you the very best stay and have a great week